Hello everyone, welcome to part 18 in my video series featuring Build the Millennium Falcon by Diogostini. In this episode we are going to have a look at issue 33 and issue 34. Uh, they are small bags, I have them right here as you can see. And uh, yeah, we'll just start right ahead, go right ahead and start with issue 33, get the uh, parts out of the bag and see what we have. So hang on. All right, so you already saw the bag and it was pretty small and also the contents are very limited this time, but we do get some cool pieces. Uh, we get this piece here, which is again part of the uh, hull, and it reminds me a bit of the piece that we got last time where these pieces here, actually those small uh, attachments, planned on details, they are supposed to go along the edge here. So it's more or less an identical uh, hull piece that uh, to the one we got previously. Um, and then we also get some framework parts. We get two parts here and we actually already got some other parts previously and um, the instructions actually go ahead and tell you to do an expansion of the framework. So um, that's actually what we're going to do now before we move on to the next issue. So hang on while I find my framework and we'll do some assembling. All right, guys, so that was basically it. Uh, pretty simple, really. And we didn't even this time add like a stiffening rod or rib on this side here. So it's just like loose on this side, but because it's so fixed because of the tightness of the screws and everything, uh, it still feels pretty solid. So we'll probably be adding another stiffening rod along this edge uh, very soon though. Uh, but yeah, now we are really getting there. As you can see, we are not really missing much now. I think just two more of these sections here and here, and then we'll actually be there. And I can just quickly turn it around so you can see it from this side. It's really big now. And yeah, this is so cool. Uh, the screws all went in very easily this time, so I didn't have any problems or struggles with that. So that was nice. And for the rest of the instructions, this issue, well, um, they do tell you to do a test fit of the, uh, they call it a thrust vector plate. So that's the long plate, this one here. You can do a test fit with the planned on details, but I, do, I don't think that they actually go ahead and glue them on. No, they mention test fitting all the way through. So I won't bother with that. I'm just going to keep the pieces safe and secure for now. And that's it. So um, let me get out part, uh, what was it, 34? Yeah, I have it the bag right here. So let me get the parts out and we'll also just have a quick look at what we get there. So here are the parts from issue 34 and we do get a bit more stuff this time around. Now, first and foremost, we get yet another piece of the hull here and it looks a lot like what we've seen just before, uh, but that's pretty cool. Then we get pieces for the framework um two pieces here so hopefully we'll be adding more in the next issues and then we get this bag here that contains some small planned on details uh, these are called uh, let me just check fuel drive pressure stabilizers <laughs> and then we get the left halves and the right halves and what they mean with that is that these needs to be glued together uh, I'll go over the instructions and show you what they mean in a second. Then we get ad additionally some of these actuators, um, which are planned on details for this bit here. Uh, what these are as well, actually. And then finally, we get four small bags containing a two-hole connector, 
a four hole connector, some black screws and some silver screws. And that's basically what we get this time. Um, I won't be doing any more uh, assembly in this video, but I will show you what the instructions tell you. Let me just check if you can see this. Yeah, so this is the overview of all the parts that we got. And then on this page, they do the, the test fitting once again of those planned on details. Um, but on this page, they actually go ahead and glue those uh, small things together. That was these parts here, the fuel thingies. Um, but I don't really see the point of gluing them together right now because uh, for the remaining part, they do just simply do test fitting. So I think I'm going to hold back on gluing these bits together and that's really not much to it. There's a left half and a right half and they just need to be glued together. And then that's it. Uh, then you can do additional test fitting. But yeah, I don't really get much out of it. So I'll save that uh, until the time comes when we actually start really looking at the hull on top of the framework. Um, but that's basically it, guys, um, for uh, well, in terms of issue 34. Um, but yeah, uh, it's looking good so far. And I love the fact that we're actually adding on to the framework. This is probably a pretty short video. Uh, but yeah, I'll see if I can have the next part up very soon. So uh, for now, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Do leave me any questions or comments in the section below. And of course, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.